Hey guys, welcome to my crochet channel made by Yuma. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified of all of my recent videos. So you can check out the videos under the videos tab if you have missed any of my previous uploads. And you can also check out my popular uploads by hitting the home tab and there you will see a list of popular uploads from my channel let's get started with the uh, materials we would need for this project so i'm taking an acrylic yarn and of three different colors and a crochet hook that suits the acrylic yarn here i'm taking a 3 mm crochet hook you would also need some scissors towards the end of the project and some colorful beads to decorate your project so let's take the tail end of the yellow yarn and uh, we need to make a magic circle for that you have to bring the yarn around your index finger and insert the hook into the circle the loop which is created and grab the yarn now make chain one and then chain two and chain three so the first two chains are considered as double crochet and the third chain is a part of the pattern here then go ahead and make a double crochet for that yarn over and insert the hook into the magic circle grab the yarn now we have three loops on the hook grab yarn over and pull through the first two loop again yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops so this completes the double crochet then make chain one and we have to make the next double crochet for that yarn over insert the hook into the loop grab the yarn we have three loops yarn over and pull through the first two loops again yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops then make chain one So repeat this pattern until we have 8 double crochet in total including the first two chains. The first two chains are considered as double crochet. So we have 8 double crochets here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So make chain 1 and uh, pull the tail end of the magic circle to close the uh, circle and now insert the hook into the third chain at the beginning and grab the yarn and pull through all the loops to make a slip stitch. So round 1 is complete here now leave about two inches long and you can cut this yellow yarn now let's uh, add the second color for that insert the hook into any of the chain space uh, which is between two double crochets and uh, grab the pink yarn and pull through that chain space so hold the tail end of the pink yarn very tightly and then make chain one so just pu pull it so that this chain gets tighter now continue to make chain two now we have to make a puff stitch into the same chain space for that so yarn over and insert into the same chain space and pull through the yarn so we have to do this for five times So once five times we have done that yarn over 
and pull through all the loops we had on the hook then make chain one and make one more chain and start making another puff into the next space so this space is between two double crochets so this is one time so make sure you work along with the tail ends this is the second time and this is third one and the fourth one and then the fifth one now yarn over and pull through all the loops make chain one and another chain so now we have created two puffs we are gonna do it one more time for you so make sure you uh, use the tail ends of yellow yarn and the pink yarn along with this puff so that we don't have to bother about it towards the end of this pattern so continue to do uh, this round until there are 8 puffs so meanwhile you can flip the circle and see the tail ends the hidden tail ends you can cut the excess yarn of the hidden tail ends so with this round 2 is complete with 8 puffs now we are going to close round 2 by making a slip stitch into the beginning stitch of the first puff that is at the third chain make a slip stitch so you can go ahead and cut the uh, remaining tail ends of the yellow and pink yarn if anything is shown at the flip side so now uh, pull the yarn to about 2 inches and cut the yarn let's add the third color to the uh, pattern now we have uh, to insert the hook into any of the space between the puff and grab the third color yarn that is the blue color hold the tail end of the blue color tightly and uh, make chain one adjust it so that the chain gets tighter then make chain 1, chain 2, chain 3 and chain 4 now make a triple crochet here for that yarn over twice and insert the hook into the same chain space grab the yarn then yarn over pull through the first two loops again yarn over pull through the first two loops then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops this forms a treble crochet so we are gonna make uh, 5 treble crochets in total this is our second treble crochet so while making the treble crochet make sure you uh, bring the tail ends along with the a treble crochet so that it will be hidden as as you go and this is going to be our fourth treble crochet and this is our last one into the same chain space that is a fifth one now let's make two triple crochet into the next chain space
so make sure you work along with the tail ends just to hide them along with the stitches then make three double crochet into the same chain space Now let's make four double crochet into the next chain space. into the next chain space make two double crochet then make chain one and then a triple crochet so this triple crochet will give us the pointed uh, edge of the heart shape followed by chain 1 and then 2 double crochet into the same chain space next we are going to work on the opposite manner it is Start with 4 double crochet into the next chain space. Continue to make 3 double crochet, 2 triple crochet into the next chain space. This will be in the reverse order of what we done in the first half of the heart shape. Then make 6 triple crochet into the next chain space. Then make a single crochet into the next chain space and then make a slip stitch into the beginning of this round that is into the third chain from the base make a slip stitch this completes round 3 now we're gonna make round 4 for round 4 continue to make two single crochet in each of the chain space for the next seven chains
continue to make one SE in each of the next nine chain space here so let's start with the first and into the next chain space make another SE so repeat this for nine times in total then make a single crochet into the next chain space now we have this uh, triple crochet which is, which is the pointed end so there we have to make one SC one HTC and then another SC on top of this triple crochet so HTC is nothing but your half double crochet then continue to make one single crochet into the next chain space and uh, then you have to make one SC in each of the next nine chain spaces. shape now we're gonna make a little uh, chain for hanging uh, this pattern so for that let's make a chain of 18 and then make a slip stitch into the same chain space where we started this chain now let's uh, work on hiding this loose end so for that you can use a crochet hook or a sewing needle here I'm using a crochet hook by inserting the hook into adjacent loops and wrap the yarn and pull through those loops repeat this for three four times and then you can cut the excess yarn so this is the method to hide loose ends for any crochet project such a beautiful heart pattern is ready so you can use this as a keychain or you can give this for your loved ones or you can just hang it on the wall as a home decor so the options are many so let's try to make a dream catcher with this pattern now i'm gonna attach these two uh, heart shaped patterns using a bead here and I will attach some tassels to the end of the orange color heart. So now you can follow the video for the steps.
so you can use a bead that uh, suits your crochet hook otherwise you can use a bigger bead using a crochet hook uh, makes the job easier otherwise you can use a sewing needle uh, to do this uh, tassel attachment just secure a knot at the flip side of the heart pattern and then you can work uh, using the crochet hook to hide these stained ends for about uh, 3 to 4 loops and then you can cut off the excess here like the way we you were hiding the tail ends in the beginning of this project So in the same manner attach two more uh, tassels or you can just leave it as such this itself is beautiful so i'm gonna attach two more tassels with different color b let's see how that looks and i'm gonna attach uh, the orange color heart to the uh, blue one using a bigger bead as you can see here i have inserted the bead into the loop and now I'm gonna use a sewing needle and stitch this uh, orange loop at the flip side of the blue heart pattern so you can just follow the video for the steps I hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, you would uh, impress your loved ones by gifting this uh, handmade uh, crochet dream catcher and if you really like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates thank you for watching and have a blessed day ahead